All right, so what you need to do is go to the A7 III support page and go ahead and download the Mac installer. Open up that DMG file and boom shakalaka, there it is. Update settings tool the app. Double click to run that, select open, type in your password and make sure your camera is plugged into your Mac. Hit OK and OK again and wait. Wait for absolutely nothing to happen. That's right for me. No matter how many times I tried to run the installer, it just wouldn't do anything. So if you're having trouble too, then this is the guide for you. Okay, so what you need to do is go back to the Sony support page, downloads, then this time download the Windows installer. That's right, we're going to be installing the firmware update on Mac using a virtual machine. And yes, it works, so follow along. The virtual machine I'm using is an app called Parallels. Look at it there, launching Windows 10. And in case you've never tried a virtual machine before, this is how you set it up. Go to Google, type in Parallels. It's a paid piece of software, but it does offer a free trial. So go ahead and download that. Now go back to Google, type in Windows 10 ISO, and grab yourselves a copy of the Windows installer. Now go ahead and launch the Parallels installer app. And yes, it's okay to open. Once it's installed and you've rebuilt your system, launch Parallels and select Install Windows. Then continue. And select the ISO we just downloaded and continue. Input your license key if you have one, continue. Give your VM a name and hit create. Parallels will now run along and set Windows up for you. Once it's up and running, and before Windows 10 decides to install a million updates, plug in your A7 III and go into the devices, USB and Bluetooth menu. You should see a USB bus powered device. Select that to have Windows 10 take control of the A7 III. Windows will then set up the appropriate drivers. And you can drag the Windows installer downloaded earlier from the Sony support site into your virtual machine. Go ahead and launch the EXE file and follow along the updater prompts, which is just one really. Connect the camera to the computer, but you've already done that, haven't you? Unlike a Mac, your camera should be detected with ease and on the camera itself, you should see a prompt telling you to follow the computer instructions. Hit next and your camera will restart. And in parallels, you'll get prompted to retain the USB device for Windows. Select yes. Select yes. And then the update will start installing. The update takes around five minutes. And once it's done, the camera will turn back on and everything should be good in the world. See, installing the firmware update on Mac is pure easy. Well, as long as you don't actually use the Mac installer. All right, hope this guide helps some of you guys out there. And please, whatever you do, make sure you have enough battery power for the update and do not turn off the camera mid-update. That kind of trickery can break your device.